As you may know, both online and in-person learning strategies have their strengths and weaknesses. Blended learning is a strategic combination of online and in-person instruction. In blended learning, we leverage the strengths of each mode of instruction to create the right blended learning fit. There are four common models of blended learning. Flipped classroom, station rotation, whole group rotation, and a flex model. In a flipped classroom, students are provided online videos explaining the content to view at home. Then, class time is dedicated to the teacher working individually or in small groups with students, along with learning activities that bolster the student's understanding of the content they received before coming to class, thus flipping the traditional order of instruction. Next, we have the station rotation model. In blended learning, at least one of the stations includes some form of online instruction, and another includes small group, customized instructions with the teacher. Other examples of stations can include collaboration on projects or discussions on class topics. Station rotation is great for classrooms with limited technology and is especially effective when students can be self-directed or if another classroom facilitator is present. Similar to station rotation is the whole group rotation model. In blended learning context, whole group rotation has the entire class move between traditional instruction and online learning activities. This can involve going to a computer lab or bringing technology into the classroom. This model is great if you have enough devices for the whole classroom. In a flex model, most learning and instruction occurs online. Assessment data from online instruction is used to target further activities to where students need the most support. Because the majority of learning occurs online in this model, the additional support can often take form in a small group or one-on-one -on -one sessions with the teacher. A flex model gives students the opportunity to set their own pace based on their unique needs. However, it requires a detailed level of planning and preparation from the teacher. Some of the adaptive learning systems to enhance the experience include Alex, SRA Flex Literacy, or others. In any of these models, it is important to remember that for technology to meaningfully impact student learning, it must change how teachers teach and how students learn. PICRAT, a silly name, but a very useful framework, can be used to evaluate effective technology use for a particular learning activity. Now let's unpack this further so you can see how useful this actually is. In PIC, P-I-C, we can evaluate the student's relationship to technology as passive, interactive, or creative. A passive use of technology is a one-size-fits-all approach. An example is a whole class watching a documentary or reading poetry online. Interactive technology responds to student performance and behavior. For example, students may conduct experiments in an online chemistry lab or use Google Earth to explore the Notre Dame Cathedral. Creative use is when the students implement technology to produce original work. For example, students may film their own mini documentary or create an infographic for a butterfly's life cycle. In RAT, R-A-T, we evaluate whether the use of technology replaces, amplifies, or transforms traditional practice. Replacing technology makes the learning activity more efficient without meaningfully changing the activity. For example, using a word processor to type an essay rather than handwriting it. Now, amplifying changes the activity in a way that is difficult or impossible without technology. For example, writing a blog with images rather than an essay. Now, finally, transformation occurs when the activity is reimagined entirely with technology in mind so that it is nearly impossible to recreate it without technology. For example, students use video editing software to create a movie rather than writing an essay. Now check out the PicRat downloadable worksheet to start playing with this framework. And finally, I want to stress that the main takeaway from this video should be the following. With online integration, there are a lot of good, efficient uses of technology, but the best use of technology is one that directly impacts the learning of your students in a positive way. So try a few things and remember to be flexible as you begin blending.